The year is 1226, and my name is Ralph, the sixth abbot of the Abbey at Corkish Hall, and keeper of the Chronicum Anglicanum, the history book written by my house from 1066 to this day. It was way back in 1167 that some local fishermen made a most remarkable catch. To their surprise, whilst fishing near the village of Orford, they hauled up a naked wild man in their nets. The merman had a long beard and was in fact hairy everywhere except his head, which was quite bald. They took it to Orford Castle, where it was presented to Bartholomew de Glanville. The wild man was thrown into the dungeon where the poor wretch was hung by his feet and tortured. They tried to force an explanation out of him, but he uttered not a word. When given raw fish, he would squeeze out the juice and drink it before greedily eating the flesh. They took him to church but he showed no signs of godliness. After a time, the governor decided to exercise the wild man in the sea. He amazed everybody with his agility in the water, and despite their precautions, the merman managed to swim under the nets and escape. However, to their surprise, though free, he returned willingly to the shore and the governor's men. Within two further months, though, his captors had grown weary of him. It is suspected that some kind-hearted guard left the wild man's cell unlocked, and so he escaped for the last time. Reports of the wild man soon grew into tales, and they into fables. No one knows what became of the wild man. No one, that is, except me.